I'm Peter Block here at ACC 2019 in New Orleans. With me on my left is Yorick Lemkes from Amsterdam. Did I say it right, Yorick? You did. You okay. Did. Yep. So uh, Yorick has done an important trial concerning the comatose patient who drops after a STEMI. And the question is, should you or should you not go ahead and do a heart catheterization on these patients and PCI them immediately versus, wait a minute, let's wait and see what happens. So Yorick, tell me about this trial. I think this is a fascinating trial, an important one, long overdue. Yeah, well, so what we did, we randomized uh, 552 patients with out-of-hospital cardiac arrest uh, who uh, had a return of spontaneous circulation uh, had uh, no signs of st uh, STEMI uh, on the EKG and were uh, hemodynamically stable in a one-to-one -one ratio to either an immediate invasive strategy with uh, coronary angiography and PCI if needed, or a delayed uh, strategy in which uh, the PCI got, of the patient got cath after a neurological recovery. Okay, so before you go further, let me point out these are non-STEMI patients. Exactly. So. Let's go back one step and say, if I have a patient who's comatose, who's had a STEMI and a cardiac arrest, those patients with ST elevation should go, we would agree, absolutely, to the cath lab. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, yeah. so non-STEMI, cardiac arrest, patient is comatose, intubated, on support, what's the outcome? So with respect to our primary endpoint, which was survival at 90 days, we saw no difference between the two treatment groups. Survival in the immediate arm was um, uh, 65%. Uh, survival in the delayed arm was uh, 67%. Okay, and the delayed arm, as I understand the data, was the arm where you waited for neurological improvement or exactly. some sign that exactly. there was something happening. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, how long did that take? Uh, the catheterization in the delayed arm was after five days. Okay. Yeah. The so cath catheterization in the immediate arm was uh, after 0.8 hours. Okay, so, uh, so a big difference between the two. Definitely. No difference in outcomes? No difference in outcomes with respect to survival. We did see a difference uh, with respect of one of the secondary outcomes, which was time to target temperature. We saw that patients who were um, uh, in the immediate group reached their target temperature later than those in the delayed group. And that may actually be a good thing for your neurological status. Well, not so much. Yeah, if you if you're de deferring uh, um, if you're deferring angio. Yeah. It's a good thing to, to reach uh, uh, target temperature sooner, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, for the, all the people that are watching, what's the take-home message here? Well, I think that you, you don't have to uh, routinely uh, cath these people at the, uh, in the acute phase, and you can wait for a neurological recovery and then uh, perform uh, uh, angiogram. All right. So, once again, if you have a non-STEMI, right, very important, non-STEMI, comatose, cardiac arrest, it's okay to wait a while and see what happens. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you.